Hello, this is Adam with Metex Corporation. In this short video, we'll be showing you how to do a two-point calibration for a pH probe on a Wacom W600 controller. So, in a previous video, we wired this Wacom pH probe into the controller and found that it wasn't reading as accurately as it could. So, we're going to perform a calibration. Right now, we see the pH reading on the top here. From the home screen, we from here you can press pH calibration button is located here. There are many different types of calibrations you can do. The first is one point process. That's where you don't take the pH probe out of the process and you measure the pH with a separate meter, enter the number. A one point buffer calibration is where you only use one buffer as opposed to the two we're going to use today. We're going to be using a two calibration buffer today. So, okay to disable control. This means that when you're actually putting the pH probe in the buffers, you're not going to trip any set points or relays while you're doing the calibration. So we'll press okay. First buffer value. So we'll do the red number four first. So we'll enter four. Neat. So please remove sensor and put into buffer. From there, we're just gonna scroll it around. So you should be seeing approximately 180 millivolts around there. We're going to keep swirling it around. We're going to get uh, 60 millivolts for pH reading from 7. Once the buffer is stabilized, it'll go to the next screen. So the second buffer value is 10. We'll rinse the sensor off with some water first. Put it into the new buffer. Press check mark. And here you'll see that we're getting a negative metal reading. And this is approximately where it should be. And you'll see that the reading is uh, stabilized out. So we'll just keep swirling it around until we get the uh, next screen. All right, so the calibration was successful. Press check mark to save the calibration results. We'll rinse the sensor off and then we would return it to the process. So, now that we have it calibrated, we can check how the calibration is reading. So we'll put it in the 4 buffer. We'll see that it uh, immediately goes down to reading quite accurately. 3.96. We'll put it back into the water. And now we'll put it in the pH 10 buffer. We'll see that it jumps uh, right back to where it should be. Nine point nine eight. All right, so the probe is calibrated and reading accurately. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about anything you've just seen, please feel free to give us a call at 416-240-1920 or visit us at metaxcorporation.com.